Hi again, I'll be solving in this recording uh, the following exercise of so string processing using a queue. Um, we are asked to write a function that uh, read one line, uh, one string from the terminal, and the input is supposed to consist of two parts separated by a column, so the string uh, mostly should contain a column. And at the, uh, as a result, as an output, we should output n if no column on the line and L if the left part is longer than the right part, R if the right part is longer than the left one, D if the left part and right part have the same length but are different, and S if the left and right parts are the same. So uh, they are giving us uh, three examples here. So here there is no column, so I displayed N. Here uh, right is uh, longer, so the number of uh, elements of uh, characters is uh, uh, bigger than the left one, so 5 for, for 4, so it's so we display R, and since both sides here are equal, so we display R. So how can we solve this problem? So let's uh, take uh, a small example, let's take the left and right one, and then we will cover the other one. So, uh, while treating this, I, I should for, uh, forcibly like find uh, a column, so how can I uh, do it using a queue, because they ask us to use a queue. More simple way is, for example, to use to check the sample one because it's easier to understand. So what I can do, for example, is that I will use a queue and I will start by treating the, the string one character at a time and I will queue each element until I found a column. When, once I found a column, I will not enqueue any more elements and I will begin to compare the, the, uh, the, the elements, the remaining elements in the string with the elements in the queue. So if the, those two elements are equal, I will dequeue the element and I will move to the next one m equal to m, p equal to m, l equal to l, e equal to l and then I reach back backslash 0, or 0 and the queue is empty, it means that those two parts are equal and then I can display s. So what happens is for example, let's move now to left and right and follow the same uh, uh, treatment. So in the queue, I will put l, e, f, t and then I will reach the column, and then I will check R and L. So when I check that R is different than L, so forcibly they are not equal. However, I will count, so I need to make, um, uh, to count the number of elements. So here, while I'm uh, enqueuing the elements, I should keep a count, so the count is equal to 4. And here, when I am uh, uh, popping, so uh, there's no need to compare, so I pop, 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 the queue is empty, and there is more, there is elements here in the, in the string, I didn't reach the back to zero, so it means that the right part is greater than four, it means that the right part is bigger, so I print R. What about sample, sample without uh, colon, so I will place in the queue sample, sample, and then there is no colon. At the end, I will have uh, no colon, I will not reach that, so it's important to check if this exists or not. So we need to have a boolean here to check whether a column exists or not. So this is for N. We have covered the, 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 the case for R and L. We have the D. The D is that the left part and the right part have the same length but are different. So again, when comparing here, we need to check the, the, if it's equal. So we need a boolean to check if it's equal, if it's always equal, because we can have something like this, left and left E. Huh? The t is not equal to i, and we should also have a boolean to check if the uh, strings are equal. So, let's come to here. Uh, I will keep the implementation of stack and queue. However, we will use just a queue. So, this is not important. We will not use anything re related to stacks. So, for here, we need to uh, read a string. So, let's define a char, for example, str100. And... I don't know why we have this, so let's remove the insert. Where's the insert here? So, Fn. There's no insert. Okay. So, semicolon, and then I'll say printf, enter a string, and scanf, scanf, f. So we have here to use the insert. I don't know where is the insert on my keyboard. So scan percentage as because I'm reading a string and then str. 
So we have read the string and then we need to uh, call a function. This function should return a character. So let's say printf. Uh, we'll print directly the character. So there's no need to uh, print other stuff. And let's say uh, find. The function is find. And we will pass the string str. So here, let's say char move. And we have char str. So either we'll declare it a pointer or we'll declare it as uh, array notation. So in this, we will use a queue. So let's say queue, queue, and queue equal create a queue. And we will use, uh, of course, an element because we will do some front in queue and the queue stuff. And a lot of booleans too. So we will keep it that for later. And we'll see uh, what we'll do. So what we need is that we need to uh, work with the uh, with the string. However, uh, if I don't want to change the string, I need to declare a, a pointer of the string. Even uh, so, it's it's better because uh, so that we don't change the original string. So let's say char p. Start the reference p and say then p equal to str. So this is just to uh, manipulate the uh, pointer p instead of the pointer str. So as long as p, so uh, the reference p is different than zero, we don't need reach the last element. So what we will do, we will check if the element is uh, columns because if it's not, if it's uh, if we have reached columns, we should not in queue anymore in the uh, stack in the queue so if it's equal to this element i need to make a break and then else if it's if it means that if it's not different than it's not equal to a uh, column and we didn't reach column yet i should in queue in queue so address of queue the element which is uh, the reference p Right. However, as we have said, we need to calculate the length of the left part. So let's say that uh, here we declare an integer left and we declare it first left equal to zero since we can have directly a, a column uh, as a first character. So as long as uh, we are here, so we increment left to say that we have left plus plus. However, when I want to reach here, so either I will increment uh, left or not, we will see it later in a while. So whenever I, I found this, as I have said, I need also a Boolean. So let's say found here and found it's equal to zero for now. And if we found, find the uh, column, I will uh, raise the flag and say that I have found it. Because if I don't find uh, the element, I will directly return not equal no. So outside from this, I will say that if found is equal equal to one, it means that if I found the element, so I will complete with the treatment. Otherwise, I will directly return n. So inside of uh, the if, the body of if, I will do some returns. So if I found the column, it means that I found the column, I need to, to treat the rest of the string. So I need to continue with uh, the reference p and check with the front element. So what I would do is that, as long as we didn't reach the last element of the string, different than backslash zero. So here again, a P should reach backslash zero, not zero because P is a character. So, and we have a front. So we will go in pair. And we have a front Q address of E. What should, should we do? First, we DQ. So we don't DQ, we don't forget the DQ. And then we need to check if those two elements are equal. So if the reference P is equal, equal. So let's do it in the opposite way. If not equal to E, so, and uh, let's say that uh, if not equal to E, what does it mean? It means that 
I will now I will, I will no more continue checking a P because it's 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 like in this case. For example, we have L I F I and then we have L I E T. So when I found that there is two characters that are not matching, I will not continue and check I with T because it's it's useless. So what I should do is that I will use another boolean. So let's say here that if P equal to I uh, to E I will uh, lower the flag and however I will check that as long as the flag is erased so I need to use also a boolean here called equal and at first is it's equal to one so at first I say okay I will check I'm, I'm a good guy I will I will check the first elements and when I found uh, 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 characters that they are not matching. I will I will lower the the flag and in the next iteration I will no, I will never check this again. So we can check we can place this before in order to uh, not check the this part because when we have and if the first part is false we don't check the second part. So uh, what also? So we have here the left part. We need also to uh, calculate the uh, second uh, part so let's do it uh, uh, differently so here we didn't we forget to increment p so increment the counter so let's remove this and keep it p plus plus for now and then we'll check the uh, the, the the lengths in a, in a different way so we don't forget to increment p so when i get out from here so either is a p the reference p is uh, equal to backslash zero, so it means that the string finished, or the front, uh, uh, there's some elements in the front. So, so here left will not use it because we will check just the pointers and the either backslash zero or the front cube. So, what, what, uh, what does it mean if the reference p is different than backslash zero? So, it means that when I'm, when I'm here, so when, I, when I'm out of the loop, so it's either p is uh, equal to zero or uh, we don't have a front what the, the the negation of this let's write it here so here either p is equal equal to zero or q is empty so what does it mean p is different than zero if p is different than zero it means that the queue is empty because we cannot go from from that if, if p is different than zero so if p is different than zero it means that the queue is empty so the right part is bigger than the left part so return r so what if we have a front the opposite side what if we have a front it means that the string finishes finished and uh, the left bar is, is longer, so we return L. Now, if we don't try, if it's, we, 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 we get out where P equal to zero and Q is empty, so either the strings are equal or uh, they are equal in length. So, if they are equal, because we have used the uh, Boolean equal, so if equal equal to one, it means that they are equal and they are of the same length, so we will retain S for same. Otherwise, we will return L, return D. So, this is it. Let me repeat. So, first we have placed uh, the reference P, the character in P, in, in uh, uh, the Q. Till we find a column. Once we find the column, we get out from the loop and then we have continued with p and the q so as long as the elements are equal i'll continue so when i get out either because p uh, finished so there's no more elements in the string or we don't have more elements in the q meanwhile while comparing i have a flag so if i get out and there is no uh, element uh, in p uh, if p is not equal to backslash zero it means there's still elements in the string it means that the right part is bigger Otherwise, if round is uh, not finished, if the queue, there's still elements in the queue, it means that the left part is bigger. Otherwise, if equal to one, it means they are the same. Otherwise, they are uh, D, they are the same, but with different uh, characters. However, if I didn't find the column at the first, I will directly return. 
So let's uh, run to uh, to check if there's some errors first. So yes, left. Let's remove it. We didn't use left. Uh, find here, not move. Let's run because we have wrote fine. So let's take the same examples here. Sample, sample. Uh, we did not copy. So sample, sample. So N, good. Let's say left, right, run. Left, column, right. So it's R for right. Let's say SS dot SS. So it's equal to right. So why it's equal to right? Because you have forgotten to deal with the backslash zero. Because backslash zero is counted as an element so let's go back here and rectify this so whenever because we are here we, we forgot to increment the p plus plus because even if it's equal to elements we should increment p plus plus so this is here the problem because we didn't increment it uh, in the example so let's run again and check ss so now it's correct let us repeat left and right So right again, so let's say uh, left, left, and then right, so it's equal to L. So this is it for this exercise. It's not that easy. There's a lot of uh, special conditions, and you need to pay a lot of attention since it's a manipulation of characters, backslash zero and stuff. Uh, but by, by, by programming it, by following it step by step, you will find the solution. It's not that difficult. And this is it for this exercise. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to write to me and I'll answer you back. And again, thanks for watching.